everyone for coming to Tantra Speed Day. This is going to be your special pouch with beads. So you want to wear that like a necklace, Thank like you. I'm wearing mine. And then pick up one of those cards, follow the instructions on the back. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome. We teach conscious sexuality classes all around the world. And one of our most popular classes is Tantra Speed Date. I've never done any kind of speed dating of any Ever? Oh, you're in for a treat. <laughs> We're going to spoil you tonight. Good. Is that okay? That's great. Tantra Speed Date is not about sexual connection. Singles get together and practice mindfulness exercises with a dating component. It's fun, it's energizing, it's healing, it's beautiful, and everyone leaves feeling full of love. Welcome everyone to Tantra Speed Date. Everybody take a deep breath. Ah. So let us just take a moment to hold an intention in our hearts that everyone that came here tonight find whatever it is that they seek. So this is gonna be our first game. It's a group game, and it's called Introductions. So tell us your name, and then why you're here. Uh, my name is Kwabana. I have done this once before. It was a phenomenal experience. I met great people, good energy, and why wouldn't you want to do something like that again? This is my first speed dating. I'm a very curious person, so I'm very excited. I am a performance-based artist, and I like to say I love speaking multiple languages, so not just with words, but song, poetry, dance, all are a form of language. Because I'm single, I'm exploring all different options with regard to meeting people. I was in a four-year relationship, and it wasn't a very healthy relationship, and I was not being honest with myself about what I really wanted as a woman from a partner since that relationship ended. It's been a continuous journey in me saying yes to me and connecting with people that I wouldn't normally think to connect with. So I'm gonna ask that the women take another step in and join hands with your sisters. And I'm gonna ask the men, please join hands on the outside circle. Tonight, as you step in to hold the masculine pole, your mission is to create a solid container for our ceremony, to hold space for this event and to hold space for the feminine. For me, connection is the life-giving experience. It's really important to establish human connection and a lot of times people are swiping and you can't really get a sense of of how someone is with you so take a deep breath into your heart and on your exhale send that breath down the soles of your feet down into the center of the earth please open your eyes and turn around and place your right hand on the heart of the man in front of you. We created this event, which is you know, geared as a dating event, uh, where you learn relationship skills in the process. You're interacting and practicing those skills with a partner. The first station is our mirroring station. So we'll begin by rubbing our hands together. Rubbing your hands together and, fa oh, faster, faster, faster. You get to see how do I react to these skills? How am I at learning these skills? And how is my partner at learning these skills? <laughs> and do we have a chemistry when we're working together? And stop. Put your hands facing your partner as if you're looking at a mirror image of each other. A women, you can move any way you want. Men mirror her movements. I'm Lillian. I have a fairly new dating history. I was in a relationship for eight years, and then I've been single for like a year and a half. <laughs> I did try a dating app for the first time. <laughs> you meet up on a dating app, you're meeting to sit down for tea or coffee or drinks or whatever to determine if you want to have sex with the person. <laughs> like that's kind of right away sort of on everyone's mind. <laughs> if your partner is smiling, you're doing it right. <laughs> and in this kind of a situation, it's more like how do our energies vibrate with each other? <laughs> find you mirroring each other back into hands in namaste. Oh, so fun. Thank you. I came here tonight because I am opening myself up to finding my life partner. You got like the rock star thing going on too. That was like, oh yeah, we did a little. Yeah. I get to explore and I get to stretch beyond my comfort zone. Men close your eyes, women reaching for beads. The women choose. If a woman has interacted with a man that she wants to connect with again, she will take one of her beads from her pouch and place it in his pouch. Sit down. I hope you remember how to play. So as you hold hands, you can lean backwards and forwards. 
but feel how good it feels to play backwards and forwards. Got so connected to my inner child, and it just became such a fun experience, you know, with this person that I had never even met before, and just be laughing and just enjoying each other's presence. It was beautiful. <laughs> So actually intentionally creating experiences that allow for that, um, that kind of connection is so important. I see that your joy is ecstatic dance. <laughs> and my joy is um, doing yoga. You can get on a subway and be this close to 100 people in a tiny box and manage to not make eye contact with a single person. This was such a different experience than meeting someone off of a dating app. Being able to be guided in the way in which we got to connect, making eye contact and touching each other and laughing together and playing together, there was the presence of something really special that I haven't experienced in dating before. Make yourself as cozy as you desire. The idea is to think of him as the ultimate teddy bear and ask for what you want. I want to be held right now. Yes, I would love that. Women, I invite you to take a deep breath into your feminine presence. Allow a vision of your future self to come to you. I invite you to imagine how your future self might be if you had access to this type of masculine presence from every man, how would your future self be? What kind of world together we could create? The truth is that practicing connection is a skill and we're not taught. Thank you. <laughs> Real human connection, vulnerable connection, and to be able to be authentic with each other is just a beautiful thing. I invite you to imagine this woman that you hold in your arms was once a little girl. He had such a strong presence and I felt like I could just let myself go and I started crying and I wasn't expecting that. And we'll take three more breaths in this pose. I want to thank the men for making this energy available to us tonight. Yeah, there are so many people. Anytime. Yeah. Anytime.